Good morning, everyone at St. Ambrose. The sun has risen after a very troubled night uh, during this uh, a disaster with, without words. Uh, it's hard for me to put words around it today. But uh, I wanted to come to you from Denver, uh, where I'm staying at my daughter's house um, after we evacu evacuated from Louisville yesterday. Um, and uh, just check in with everybody and say a little prayer. First, I want to let you know that St. Ambrose still stands. Uh, there's a lot of damage in the neighborhood. Um, and hopefully we can be there for our neighbors. Um, but the church is, is in good shape. And uh, some folks have gone over there to get the water dripping so that we don't have uh, damage because the electricity and the heat are off. But... Um, we will be able to see each other again uh, in that building soon, and I know that will be uh, a comfort to all of us. Um, I know many of you are still waiting to hear about your homes, um, and uh, some of you may be finding out bad news, and I uh, just want you all to know that your community is here for you um, in that trouble, and uh, please uh, reach out to me or to uh, Christy or to Walter, uh, and uh, if you need a place to stay, uh, because we've had many parishioners who have offered guest rooms, who do have power, um, and who do have a place. Uh, if, if you've lost your home, or even if you're just waiting to get heat and you've been staying in a, in a hotel or something, um, let us know. Uh, lots of St. Ambrose folks would love to, to lend a hand. Uh, if you need anything, just call me uh, on my cell phone, 502-644-9973, and let me know. And uh, on Sunday, we plan to Zoom. Uh, we're going to have a service um, at not. We're going to join all of somebody's calling me on my phone. Just a minute. We're, we're going to have a service uh, where we um, join at 930 uh, we can have some conversation and just talking about what's going on, telling telling each other how we're doing. Uh, and then at 10, we'll have a morning prayer service. Uh, and then after the service, we can stay on Zoom as well for folks who want to stay on and, and talk some more because this is something we all need to process together. So the um, Zoom, we're going to try to figure out how to send out uh, a link to the parish in email. Uh, but we'll also put the link on Facebook um, as soon as I get the link made sometime this afternoon. Um, so let me just end with, with a little uh, Bible verse and a prayer here from, um, first of all, a verse from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, Though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult, God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge. Let us pray. Holy One, you are our comfort and strength in times of sudden disaster, in crisis, and in chaos. Surround us now with your grace and peace, though storm or earthquake, fire or flood, surround us. By your spirit, lift up those who have lost their homes, sustain those who work to rescue, be with those who help to rebuild, Fill us with the hope of your new creation. Through Jesus Christ, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Take care and I will see you online on Sunday.